Welcome back to Jeff Outdoors. We are back in the maple shop. I told you we were gonna talk about hydrometers when it comes to mapling. Well, if you saw my last video, here's the follow-up. We're gonna look at the sap that I just collected. I'm gonna check the sugar content using my sap hydrometer, which is right over here. So I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna tilt you down. We're gonna take a look at the sap how I collect sap from my trees around the shop. We're gonna check that sap sugar content right now too. So uh, I have almost, almost, hold on. About 14 gallons, give or take a little bit. So 14 gallons of sap collected in about 24 hours off of uh, 15, taps. That's almost one gallon in one day on each tap. It's, let's just call it that. I mean, that's, it's pretty darn close because it's actually probably 14.5 gallons. That's silver and red maples. So here we go. I'm going to show you how I go around the shop collecting. You're going to wiggle a little bit. Bear with me. This is what I use to collect my sap going down. You can see we got the wood pile over here for the evaporator. We got the other sap tanks looking good. Maple season 2023 is officially started, at least uh, intermittently here with the cold coming this week. Okay, so here we have a tractor supply food grade bucket. Always use food grade. And I have a local hardware store here that sells brewing equipment. And this is one of the funnels that people use for the brewing process, making cider, wine, whatever. So I take the lid for the five gallon bucket that, you, that I got at the supply store. I put a hole right in the middle to match the funnel tip. Kind of shimmy that in there. And I can carry it kind of like this around the shop while collecting my sap. And the cool thing about this funnel is it has a, uh, it's kind of like a milk filter in the milk, uh, you know, if you're in the dairy industry, the, the milking parlors. Um, this has a, removable screen. So this plastic screen, it's real fine. You can see all the stuff that I stopped from getting into my sap. I fil filter your sap, don't forget that. So filtering the sap, keeping everything out, it's just gonna help you in the long run with not getting sugar sand in your maple syrup. You know, you certainly don't want that stuff in something you're gonna eat eventually, you know. This stuff gets filtered and filtered and filtered many, 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 many times. And uh, the beginning sap collection process is no, uh, no exception. So uh, that's what I do. And at the end of collecting, I can just pull that out. Then I normally set it over here. And I do have, uh, I do have a regular solid lid that I'm just going to put on top of this. But first, we're going to check that sap content. So we have something called a sap hydrometer. And I have it right here. Okay, so this is exclusively for measuring uh, sugar content in sap, not syrup. There's a separate syrup hydrometer. This one I got at Basque of Maple, which I have been to uh, quite a few times, and they do offer supplies for maple. They're a big maple producer in New Hampshire. They have a wonderful place up on the mountain there, which is beautiful. So this is pure sap. If you've never seen maple sap before, it's pretty clear. I mean, it looks like water, okay? So it mostly is water. And this is going to tell me how much sugar is in that water 
and that will tell you how much you have to boil off. So, just gonna kind of let that bob in there for a second. I did measure another bucket a few minutes ago, and I normally range out at about 2%, and then we're gonna see what this is gonna say. So on the, on the hydrometer, there's notches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down. And whatever you land on is gonna be your sugar content. This sap here are, is from a few Freeman maples out back. And I can already tell right now uh, that we are This is at one and a half, okay? So these trees, these trees run lighter. The other sap I collected was from the reds and a silver and a Norway, and that was 2%. This is, one, this is showing one and a half. This is where a bigger evaporator with higher gallons per hour boil rate really comes in handy. If you're constantly producing a one, a one to one and a half percent, it's, it's more fun to boil it off as soon as you can, as quick as you can. I'm not in any hurry here. I'm not, I'm a small producer. It's mostly for friends and family. And I do have people that do like to, um, boil that, or I have friends that like to offer to buy my maple syrup off of me. And I make nice little labels for my bottles and jugs, what have you. But that's it. The sap hydrometer, you can see the markings, um, hopefully. See the one and the two, I was at one and a half. And so um, that is that there. Now let me see if I can show you what 2% looks like. So we'll just, Lid that. Did I measure this one? I don't know if I measured this bucket. I think I measured. I have another bucket down here, so um, I have another. I have three, three total buckets here that I'm measuring. Anyways, just to make sure you're not going to fall off the back of my little stand there. So we got one and a half. And I think I'm already seeing 2% on this. Just give it another second. Yeah, it's actually a little bit, it's actually a little bit more. Um, wow. That's almost two and a half, almost two and a half. So between two and two and a half percent. So to call it 2.25% sugar on that. Um, uh, let me see if I can bring you down here so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Let's see the uh, two. See that two mark? So just below the two, so about 2.25, which that's good. It's what you want. Now, a lot of guys use the reverse osmosis. I do not. I am old timey, wood fired, no RO. Maple syrupin. So I am out here in the shop today and just uh, cleaning up some buckets. Just gathered. We're running. So, you know, one was two. This one was about 2.25. The other one was 1.5. So you can kind of see, I normally am 43 gallons of sap to one gallon syrup. That can vary. It can vary around your regions and even in your areas, your trees. It's not all the same. Um, years past, I have evened out to about a 2% sugar content across the board. Some people are 50 gallons to one. Again, it just, just depends. So um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm actually finishing up and then we're, I got some other things to do, but I'm out here in the Maple Shop and uh, we're, we're talking about we're getting to the point on Jeff Outdoors where we're talking about maple syrup making, processing, processing. I do have other videos, like informational kind of instructional videos, way back, I think from my 20, 
2021 season where I go over equipment and stuff like that. So if you haven't checked that out, you can scroll back through my videos and watch those and uh, maybe learn something or what, whatever, entertainment. I'm here doing my thing and I love to have people come along and ask questions. There's my wood bin. I can't wait to get that evaporator started and going and ripping and roaring. The smell of boiling sap is one you will never forget and you will crave it. <laughs> I sound extreme, don't I? Probably a little crazy. But hey, you got one life. Do what you can where you are. Do it now while you can. Because others cannot. Whew, yeah. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, liking, and subscribing. Tell your friends, share the videos to people who might be interested in maple syrup making. Coming to you from Northern Ohio, Amish country. We'll see you on the next video. And thank you once again. Giddy up.